Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Naz with Hijabs and You with another tutorial. How are you doing today? I hope everyone is keeping fine and keeping safe and doing their bit to still stay safe. We are not out of the woods yet. We have to continue to do our part. Anyway, I'd like to welcome all of you to my channel. For those of you who have been here and are here already and are supporting me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your support and your love means so much. And for those of you who are new and have not been here and is visiting for the first time, I hope inshallah that you will stay. I hope inshallah you watch this video to the end and you will like what you see. So you will stick around and you'll come again, inshallah. If you've not been here before, please do stay. And at the end of this, please do subscribe. Press the bell button so that you will always get my uploads. And I thank all of you, all of you for your support. I'm enjoying doing what I'm doing, bringing this to you. And I'm praying and hoping that inshallah that you are all enjoying with me. So help me and I'll help you so we can build this platform, so we can build it to the levels that we all can gain from it, inshallah. I, you know, I wear a hijab very proudly and I'm very happy and thankful that I am a hijabi and I pray inshallah that all of you out there, uh, whether you're a hijabi or not, you know, the intention is what counts. And if you can bring yourself to become a hijabi by watching my video, it's blessings for all of us. Yes, inshallah. And you know what, for those ones that are thinking about it and are, you know, finding some difficulties, whether it's personal difficulties or, you know, family difficulties or whatever it is, reach out. We are here. You know, we've got a whole community of uh, hijabi sisters. We will give the support. So please do reach out, leave a comment, and I will respond to any of the comments that are there. Yes, if you make the intention, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does the rest for you. So please, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you to take that step if you need it. And for those sisters that are wearing your hijab, if you have a style that you want to be shown here, reach out to me. I am open to your suggestions. You know, I'm, I'm new fashion, but I'm also old fashioned. And this is one of the old fashioned look that I think it, it will be worth a million always. You know, the new ones come in, the new fashion, the new, the new styles come in, they change. But there's some of us that are so stuck on the old way that, you know, it's important to know the old way and the new way as well. But this is one of the old ways. And I hope that you, you know, share with me in liking it because I, you know, every so often you go back to this way. It's a square hijab. I've turned into a triangle and I folded it the traditional way that we normally do. And uh, I'm here to show you how I've done that. Now, once I've done that, I'm hoping that I can, you know, spin it around and show you a few different other options that we can use a square hijab and how we can wrap the square hijab as well. Okay, so do stay with me as I attempt to show you how I get this look. So I will attempt to show you how we got that look. Now. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabric. Like I've shown you already, it's beautiful. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the regular way that most of us, and most of us, likes to fold the square hijab. And what I've done is I folded it in a triangle. And because this is a pretty nice size, it's a large size, I have folded it, I fold it equally. Normally I don't, I leave a bit of a, about four inches difference from the inner to the outer because I like full coverage in the back. But this one is pretty big, so I folded it equally. And this is what we're going to do. Now today, I have my ninja, it's a nice blue, it's one of the large ones, and it's got full coverage. Everything is covered. I'm wearing my joba, I'm feeling really good about it, and if you notice the back, it's 
very covered. So there's no need for an inner cap today because the hijab is pretty, um, it's not see-through at all. So there's no need. And the ninja is very, very, very nice one. It's, it's a bit of a spandex material. It's got cotton and spandex, so it keeps everything in place without showing any of the hair. And the thin ones that are usually poking out is very well covered. So we don't have any problems with that today. Again, fold it, and we're gonna put this evenly here, making sure that it even, okay? And we're going to put this right at the edge of the ninja. Good so far. Put some pressure here and fold it over. And we're going to use a safety pin. These are very easy, simple styles. It's just that the weather's changing and I thought we'll bring the colors out and brighten things out. So far so good. So we've pinned it here and we've got both sides. Now what we're going to do is bring the first side and we're going to just bring it over here. And I'm going to use one of those thick pins and it's one of the longer ones so that it holds it nicely in place. And there's no, if you use one of the shorter ones, because it's a big fabric, it's a big shawl, it's a, it's a, it's a big hijab. So if you don't use the longer stick pin with the shorter one, with the pressure, sometimes it can fall apart. You don't want that. So you want to make sure that you use one of the longer stick pins or even one of the safety pins and pin it there. And this here, we're only, we're going to bring it over like that. And we're going to give it a tuck here. And put another safety pin there. And normally I make sure I get it onto the strap so it's in place and it will not move. Now on this side, now you can put a safety pin there or you can use a brooch. And I have a nice little brooch here today. I'm going to use that there because it's so dainty, but it's so pretty because we've got a lot of happening here with it being colored and it's got some little tiny little flowers. I'm going to use this brooch and basically I'm going to just put it here. Make sure not to poke yourself. And I've done that. It's dainty. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, this is in place because you've got your ninja and the fabric, it's beautiful. It sticks to the ninja. But if you are like me, I like things to stay in place. So I'm going to put a little stick pin here. Right at the very bottom, not on the top, just on the bottom. So that's in place right there. We're going to do that on the other side. And I'm just going to put it right here. And I've got it right there. And we've got full coverage in the back. It's so pretty. And we've got full coverage in the front. And it's beautiful. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this is the traditional way of wrapping a square scarf that we fold into a triangle and we wrap it this way. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can use the same scarf, same pinning around, and we'll just wrap it a little bit differently to give it a different look. Okay, so we'll attempt to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the pins in, in place. I'm going to take this thick pin out of here. I'm going to take the one that I have here. And I'm going to take the brooch off. 
because I'm going to attempt to show you how we can use the same wrapping and just by folding it, it a little bit differently, we can have a different look. So now we began by the safety pin here and fold, it's evenly folded. So what we're going to do is just bring this across, this one here, bring it across. And whenever you're folding anything across and you're bringing it under your neck, if you want to just put the spare hand here, like your right hand, if you're using your left hand to fold it, so that you give some room there. So you're not, you know, choking yourself basically, right? And this, I've just brought over that in, and I'm gonna use this end here, and I'm gonna bring it up here, and I'm going to give it a knot. And I'm just creating a bit of a different look with the same square hijab. And all we're doing is just giving it a knot because seriously, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a square hijab. And if you want to put the back in your blouse or whatever, if you're wearing, like for me, I'm wearing a jubba, so it's easy. I'm just putting it in my jubba and making sure that we have all the coverage in the front, in the back, that's so that the neck is not showing. Mind you, the ninja that I have on today has full coverage. So now all we've done is we've used, we've taken up all the stick pins on the sides and I have folded it, give it a knot here and we are good to go. We can pull that out a little bit, make it a little bit fluffy there and we are good to go. It's beautiful, isn't it? And now we've taken a traditional way of wrapping the square hijab and we've given it a little tie here and we've made it modern. It's got a bit of a modern flair to it and we're still using a square hijab. I think that's fantastic, don't you? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's, it's, it's brightening up, you know, the outside is still a little bit dull, but the sun's peeking out and when the sun peeks out, it just gives you that different mood and with that mood comes the brightness. And with that brightness brings out the you know, the flowers in the hijab, the colors, the vibrancy, you know, not the plain ones. And as I said, I'm a little bit old fashioned, so I like to bring out these uh, colors. And so if you're with me, share it with me. Let me know that you like the colors, you like the vibrancy, please do. And I think with the white, with the blue little flowers in there, it's beautiful. And proudly to say, I created this hijab myself and because I love fabric and uh, it's it's beautiful. It's so easy. And with the knot here, it's just, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to attempt to show you just one more look. So bear with me while I do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart. I'm gonna take the stick pins out because I need to fold it a bit differently. And the safety pin. And see my ninja is still in place. It's beautiful. I love it. It's it's you know it's uh, covering everything. And now we're gonna keep the hijab in the same manner. It's folded evenly. And we're going to take one end. I'm going to use one end. We're going to do it this way. Now we can show the inner. No, yes. Let's let's do that. Let's show that a little bit, just because we're creating a different look. So we're going to show the ninja a bit. And then we're going to just fold it like that. And we're going to put that safety pin again. Remember, I'm folding it at the end of the scarf, with just a tiny bit left at the end. I've got this here. That's it. And I'm going to put my stick pins on the corner so that it's nice 
and in place. Now, if you want this here, we can use one of these very tiny pins, and if I can find one of them, I do believe I have one of them here. And uh, what we're going to do is to show you how we can just keep that in place with that little, give it a little tuck. That's all it is. Using one of these pins without the head. And we're going to just... And it's got a nice little tuck there. And what we're going to do, now we have all that fabric over here. So now we're going to wrap this around. Just give it a pin there. And we're going to use one of these longer ones again only because the scarf is a big scarf and you don't want with pressure the smaller ones can come off so now just fix it up a bit you can leave that there really this is so beautiful And we're done. Isn't that beautiful? Just a simple wrap. All we did was tie the hijab on this one of the ends of the, the triangle, like I showed you. And then we put all the fabric and just brought it around. We've got nice, it's all covered here. There's nothing showing, everything's covered. And you've got full coverage in the front. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's so pretty. Now, what do you think? Do you like that? Now, if you want to, you can also bring this around. If, see that? The other day I wore it like that and it was very comfortable. With a little stick pin here and we're done. So now you've got all that fabric in the front. It's so pretty, it's so beautiful. And it has like a nice fold to it, you know? It's beautiful. What do you think? Tell me. I need your comments, please. If you want to reach out to me at the bottom of the video, please do leave your comments or leave your comments on Facebook or Instagram. Either, it doesn't matter. Just reach out to me and let me know what you think, how we can improve it, how we can make it better. And uh, because we're here to build this together, you and I. And we're going to build this platform so that all of us will enjoy the benefits of it. Well, I hope you like that because I do. I really do. And I enjoy bringing these, things, uh, these uh, tutorials to you. Right now, with lockdown, 
I do a tutorial every day. I upload a video every day. Now, when that, when the, you know, we, everything becomes normal again, hopefully, inshallah, soon, things might change because life will get busy again. But for now, I look forward to every morning after prayers, I upload my videos. And every time I upload, I keep thinking, I said, I hope I'm, you know, my viewers are happy and that they're enjoying what I'm giving them. And I pray, inshallah, that I have the strength and the ability to bring you a lot more. So please, it's Ramadan. Let's pray for each other. Let's uh, do our best to do things right. And this is a month of blessings. So all of us should make our effort to do what is right. Inshallah. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please press the like button. Do share it with your friends and family. Let's build this platform. And for you that haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And do press the bell button so that you can get, yeah, it, every time a, and a video is uploaded, you'll get a notification about it. Until we meet again, stay safe. And do enjoy your Ramadan. Make the best out of it. This is Naz. Say, Assalamu Alaikum.